Hello, in the previous video on the channel, we worked on the component which prevents the keyboard from covering the text input fields in a React Native app. Now this was based on JavaScript, so in this video, we will clean up the project and convert it to TypeScript. So my project is based on Espo, so to convert it to TypeScript, the first thing we need here is a TypeScript configuration file. So over here, I will create a new file. And I'll call it tsconfig.json. Once we have the empty file like this, we need to start the app again on the command line to configure this file. So on the command line, I'll first cancel my server. And then I'll start it again using expo start. Now this command is prompting us to install some necessary dependencies, so I'll hit Y on my keyboard to proceed. Now if your app is based on Bare React Native instead of Espo, I'll link a video up here which will guide you through the initial conversion process. Now with the installation complete, we can open the app again on our device. Now going back to our code editor, we see that the file has been populated for us. The next thing we need to do here is to change our app to TypeScript. So visiting our app file, we rename it and change the extension to .tsx, like so. Now instantly, we get some errors here, which shows that TypeScript is already working. Now using TypeScript is easier when the code is organized into appropriate files and directories. So in our app file, we will start by extracting the stack navigator into its own file. So in our project, we will create a new directory for navigators. And in this navigators, we will first create a file for our root stack. And this also have the TypeScript extension. Also, we want to define some types for our root stack, so that will be in a types file. So back in the app, we'll copy the stack section into our root stack. So we we'll copy the app function and the imports. And then back in the root stack, we paste it here. The first thing we'll do here is to convert this function to an arrow function, so that we can cleanly apply the styles. When that's done, we export the app as the default. Now in this file as well, we have an error regarding our home component, which we'll fix in a bit. The next thing we'll do is to create some types for the root stack. So we'll head to the types file. The type we'll create here is the parameter list for the root stack. So we export the type and we'll call it root stack parameter list. Now in this list, we have to define all the screens in our root stack and the parameters they are expecting. For our current root stack, we only have the home screen, so we put home here. And for the parameters, we are not expecting anything for now, so we state undefined. With this done, we go back to the root stack and import the type. So we import the root stack param list from the types, like so. Now we copy the type here and pass it to the stack while we are creating it. Yeah, just like so. Another thing we can do here is to import the function component type from React. So over here, we'll use the abbreviated form, which is the FC. And we'll get it from React. Once we have it like this, we can pass it to the app function here. Yeah, just like so. Now to get rid of the home error here, we need to import the home screen, which we don't have yet. So let's look into that. 
To start that, we'll create a new directory here for screens. And in this directory, we'll create another directory for home. Now inside the home directory, we'll create an index file for the home screen itself. The home screen will also have types, so we'll create another file for types. Now to populate the index file for the home, let's copy the content of the app file. So we copy everything here and paste it in the index file we have. Now at the top, we can get rid of the stack. And then we can change the function here to an arrow function. With this done, we have to export the function as the default. Now with our home component being a screen in the stack navigator, we want to create a type for it. So we head to the dedicated type file and then we'll create a type. For this, we'll call it home screen props. Now for this, we first need to state that it's a screen in the stack navigator. So we need the stack screen props and we can get that from React navigation stack. With this, we assign it to the home screen props. Now this will expect some arguments. The first thing we need to supply here is the parameter list of the stack that the screen belongs to. So for that, it is the root stack param list that we created earlier. So we import that as well. So we import the root stack param list from our navigators and the ties file. We can then copy the name and supply it here. Another parameter we can provide here is the actual screen that this is referring to. So in our case, it's the home screen. So we can state here home. And as you just saw, when you start typing, so when I get rid of this and start typing, we can see that you are given a list of all the screens that are available. So any other value out of the list you are given will be rejected. So here, the only screen we have here is the home. So we only have the home suggested. With that in place, we can go back to our home file and then we import the type we just created. So at the very top, we import the type. So that's the home screen props from our types file. Now to apply this type to the home component, let's bring in the function component. So we bring in the function component again from React. With that in place, we state here that this home function will return a function component. And for the parameters, they will come from the home screen props. So we copy that and then paste it here. Just like so. Now the full name error we have here is something we can easily fix. I got rid of the variable from here and forgot to change this one here. So I can just copy the first name here and paste it here to fix it. That's no major issue. Now for the keyboard avoiding issue, we'll fix it in a bit. Now in the actual screens directory, we need to create a main index file. So over here, we create a new file, which we'll call index.tsx. Now in this file, we want to make it easier and cleaner to import our screens. So over here, we import our home screen and export it again. So first we import the home and then we export it again in an object. So we export the home in an object. Yeah, just like so. Now back in our root stack under the navigators, we can import our home screen. So we import home from the screens, just like so. And with that imported, 
our error is no more. Now I forgot to change the name of the function here, so let's quickly update to Rustak. So I hit Ctrl D to select them both and I change the name to Rustak. Yeah, like so. Now back to our app file, we can now make use of our Rustak. So over here at the top, we can import our Rustak. And then in the app function, we can get rid of this and replace with a fragment. Like so. Now in the fragment, we'll put our root stack. And in addition to this, we can add our status bar. And we can give it a style of auto. With this done, we can get rid of the unused code. And at the top, we can get rid of the unused imports. That's basically everything here. With this done, let's move to the keyboard avoiding component itself.